A new documentary series from HBO is tackling the rise and fall of Synanon, a California-based drug rehab center started in the 1950s that devolved into an extreme and destructive cult-like group. Former members credit Synanon with saving their lives, but the group lost its way under the militant rule of its charismatic leader. Synanon was a golden child of the world. The population grew. Chuck began to amass wealth. They started to see Chuck as a god. There were rules on which Synanon was founded, and those were solid until they weren't. Learn to live the way we do. If you don't, go somewhere else. And joining me now is Rory Kennedy, director and executive producer of The Synanon Fix, which premieres on HBO Max today. So, Rory, this is a, a different type of cult. The people beat their drug habits. Former members don't regret being a part of it. So talk to me about the destructive side, the controversial side of Synanon that you really dug into with a lot of new documentary material. Yeah, thank you for having me here. It's nice to be with you, Andrea. Um, what was fascinating to me about the Synanon story was really that it came from this place that was incredibly innovative and forward thinking. Uh, it was the first drug rehabilitation program for narcotic addicts, for heroin addicts. They really didn't have any place to go at that time. They either went to prison or they went to a mental health hospital, but there were no drug treatment programs before Synanon. And this was an innovative program that really changed people's lives, especially in the beginning. But unfortunately, as you point out, over time it devolved into what many consider a cult. Um, it was in the beginning, the, the, the pillars of Synanon were that there were no drugs and alcohol and there was no violence. By the end, they had more, uh, they had bought more firearms than anybody in the history of California and they had an open bar in the facility. And so seeing it go from one extreme to the other over a couple of decades and really hearing from the people on the front lines who live through Synanon and what they experienced is a fascinating story. And what were some of the abusive tactics that they used against patients or members? Yeah, well, so there were a number of um, mandates that happened over time. In the beginning, it was, um, you know, you couldn't, you weren't allowed to have sugar and then you had to exercise. But those slowly over time started getting um, increasingly concerning um, to the point where people were forced to have abortions and vasectomies. Um, and then by the end, there was a, a legend, well, actually it was a, a, an attack with a rattlesnake and um, uh, against one of the lawyers who were coming out against Synanon. Um, so it really went to a much darker place there at the end. Wow. Uh, now, you and your generations of your family actually were at the White House on St. Patrick's Day, posing for a, a family photo with the president. Um, and it was notable because, of course, your brother, RFK Jr., is running as an independent against President Biden. Um, why are you backing the president over your own brother? Uh, well, I'm a huge fan of President Biden, so I think he's done a fantastic job um, and doesn't quite get the credit that he deserves over the last four years in terms of policies that he's enacted and changes that he's made that I think have been enormously impactful and positive. Um, you know, the truth is, is that I love my brother and it pains me to come out against him, but I am very concerned with the stakes in this election. And I'm very concerned from the polls I'm seeing that he takes many more votes from Biden than he does from Trump. And I think this election is going to come down to a handful of votes in a handful of states. And I'm concerned that his campaign and running for office as an independent is going to lead to Trump's election. And I feel that that will be catastrophic, honestly, for not just our country, but for the world. So I feel that the stakes are 
couldn't be higher, frankly. So, you know, I would love more than anything to sit out on the sidelines on this one and not be in this position, but I don't feel like I can do that. Understandable. Family and it's, it's complicated, let's just face it. But, but yeah. thank you so much, Rory Kennedy. I'm really excited about the Synanon documentary and the Synanon Fix on HBO Max debuting tonight. Thank you. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.